Ruto Samuel, and the president of Youth Technology Development Organization, a non-profit youth organization based in Juba, South Sudan. Youth Technology Development Organization is a youth organization that is founded in South Sudan and is based in Juba, South Sudan. Uh, I have come here to United States. I'm here now one month uh, for a program called International Visitors Industry Program, a program that makes us to visit uh, labs, business people, government uh, leaders in the United States to exchange ideas, to exchange experience of what we as a young people are doing in our countries. So we are from over 18 countries in Africa that have benefited uh, in this program uh, called International Visitors Leadership Program. Uh, here today, I'm coming to visit our embassy, uh, the South Sudan embassy that is based in the US. Uh, to meet uh, the ambassador, uh, people that are working in the embassy, and really I'm so thankful that I'm um, so much welcome to the embassy and uh, to share with them what the reason of my being here uh, in United States. And uh, secondly, uh, as I will be going back to South Sudan, uh, what I have learned from the United States and what I have seen in the United States, how will I utilize the, the ideas and the experience that I have got here in the United States back home. I'm looking forward that uh, as I will be going back to South Sudan, uh, I've much more expressed that I will share the experience that I have got here with my fellow youth as I've been doing before. Because in South Sudan, uh, Youth Technology Development Organization is an organization that runs the National Youth ICT Conference. And uh, secondly, we're also the organization that runs uh, the Young Entrepreneurs Forum in Cuba. Uh, Young Entrepreneurs Forum is a forum that brings uh, students of various universities together to express their business ideas. So, been doing that, and the part of it is that this organization has established uh, a technology development center, a tech lab in Juba. So, uh, these are the programs that this organization is running uh, in Juba, and that's the focal point of where we meet with the different youth in South So, with the experience that I've gained here in the state, uh, with the ideas that I have really shared with the people here in the United States and much more with my visit to our embassy here in the United States, uh, I believe that it's going to bring more change in what I've been doing in South Sudan and it's going to add value in what I've been doing in South Sudan. So uh, I'm passing my message to our youth that are here in the United States that uh, we need to have hope for our country, we need to have a vision for our nation because we who are the youth of today, we are the very youth that can work for the development of our country and can work for the implementation of the peace that all of us are looking for in our country. Because as of now, we already believe that we are in peace in South Sudan, but we need to work now to implement the peace. And working to implement the peace it needs collective views, collective effort, collective ideas from different youth that are really uh, looking forward to see that South Sudan have to be a country that it suits interests of all of us and a country that really uh, work for the benefit of all of us. So my message to youth, uh, South Sudanese youth that are here in the United States, those who are in Britain all over the world that let's love our country and let's focus uh, for the development of our country and let's look also back on how we can bring youth that are back home up. Because yes, we, some of us, didn't have the opportunity of going to other uh, further education and uh, this is the time that now we need to look into areas of how can we bring uh, our fellow youth that are back home so that also they will benefit from the experience that already we have gained uh, from foreign countries like the United States or uh, experience that we have gained from Canada, wherever uh, you have gone to. So we need to utilize this experience to bring up uh, the rest of the youth that uh, are back home. So I uh, pass this message and uh, I'll, be hopeful, I'll be hopeful that uh, uh, the next ICT conference that we are going to organize for 2016, uh, our youth that are here in the United States will come and participate to give their presentation, to give uh, the skills that they have so that the youth back home will also be expressed that, oh, we are told that the youth, thousands of youth are back and that we have such fruitful uh, people that really can deliver to our country. So I will be much more uh, happy that next uh, ICT conference that is going to be in 2012, in 2016, uh, I would like to invite our youth that are here in diaspora to come back home and also see the beauty of our country. And also, I would like to thank our partners that have been supporting our programs back home in South Sudan, 
uh, like UNESCO. UNESCO have been too supportive to us. Huawei have been too supportive to us. The Ministry of Telecommunication have been too supportive to our programs that we are doing back home. And uh, RCS, radio and uh, satellite communication has also been uh, too supportive to us in the program that we are doing. Because this organization, New Technology, is a non-profit organization. Uh, we are a group of youth that have come up to volunteer their time, to volunteer their ideas with no another cost that somebody would pay. So we are really volunteering ourselves to see that we help our youth to bring them up, one, to understand what is a computer, how to use computer, how to have an email, how to interact on Facebook and social media. So that's what we are doing and we are doing it as voluntary. So these organizations that I mentioned back in South Sudan are the organizations that have been supporting our activities. And uh, the U.S. embassy in South Sudan have really contributed a lot of programs. One of it is that they are able to sponsor me to come to the United States to visit more than five states in the United States. And they are also able to sponsor me to come and participate uh, at the Global International Summit. So U.S. embassy has been also too supportive of our programs. And as of now, as the future is still, we are looking forward to see that there are a lot of things that we need to do. And as things move on with the resources that can push you to move on. So I'm also appealing to partners from outside there that would be really interested to come and support our programs, would volunteer to come and support us, being financially with the resources, with the human resource, because yes, that's what I'm still we need to be people that have good skills to support our youth, to bring them up. So I'm appealing out there that those who are really interested to come and work with the youth in South Sudan, who are really looking at the youth as the future of our nation, uh, I will really welcome them to come and partner with us in order to bring up the programs that we are doing, being uh, the training, being advice, being in terms of networking. I'm really inviting more partners from outside to come and partner with us for the development of our young men and women in the public of South Sudan.